I would, I would have the same having the abortion to further my career, definitely. I'd love to also further my, the glamour side of my career. Um, I know there's no chance that for at least a year if I do have the baby. So that's also a big part of the decision. I'm a complete moron, really, but I want to develop the glamour side of my career. More of her later. Uh, moral Maze, every Monday we explore the underbelly, the dark side of, our, of the world's moral life, I suppose. And it's, is it getting better, we ask? No, it's getting worse. Tanya Granich, uh, Granich Allen from Campaign Life joins us every week. Uh, that lovely lassie from Leeds in Yorkshire, I mean, it was disgusting. I, I mean, she's... Look, I'm sorry, she's ugly. Uh, she's had a boob job on the National Health Service on, on, on socialised medicine. Uh, she's slept with a whole bunch of guys. Uh, she has a couple of kids and she said she'd have an abortion because, was it Big Brother she's going to be on? Is that the show? Yeah, show Big Brother UK version. Wow! Yeah, big uh, celebrity there. Um, but she's saying, you know what, I f she went in for auditions and things are going well. And then she said as soon as she announced that she was pregnant on Twitter, of course, because yeah. that's the normal way people do announce course, things. And she yes. even posted a, an ultrasound photo of her baby. Yeah. Uh, and she said that she felt that the producer's cool to her. So as a result, she said, you know what, I don't want to ruin my chances. Abort the child. Well, it's fair enough, Tanya. Come on. I mean, it's only excess tissue, and she's got a big career ahead of herself on Big Brother, you know. So she's going to abort the baby. What's wrong with that? Oh, it's just a devastation. I mean, you know, I'd like to know where are the feminist groups on this. Are they going to jump to her defense and say, you know what, she shouldn't be discriminated against as a pr uh, pregnant woman to get this job? Or are they going to be uh, trumpeting their abortion horn and saying, no, she should have an abortion whenever the heck she wants? There's no evidence at all that the producers called on her because she was pregnant. It could well be that she's gone to the Daily Mirror, a tabloid, and said, this because they weren't interested in this rather stupid unattractive girl and now she wants to become famous or infamous so this is what she's doing yeah and she's made it very clear she'll do anything to get famous and mm. uh she said next uh, this time next year she wants to be driving a pink range rover and she'll nothing will stand in her way oh lord please end the world now uh, <laughs> the the premier of newfoundland said he was pro-life he what did. is he, a fanatic? Well, he must be. No, his fa he got called out um, by the media. So this really, sh in my opinion, shows the, the media bias. But uh, he and his family participate in a you know, quiet vigil outside in a, a hospital on every Good Friday. Mm. Uh, this year he didn't do it, but his family still continued. And uh, footage came out. And so, anyways, he was called into question. He said, yes, I, you know, I, I believe in the sacredness of human life. I am pro-life, but I won't allow that. Uh, I won't impose my beliefs on anyone. Mm. Well, the media went into a frenzy, and they're really covering this guy. And, you know, I take a step back and I see politicians like Barack Obama, the most pro-abortion president, they say, in the U.S. history. And, I mean, he has no problem in imposing his beliefs in the public square and nobody gives a dang. That's a very good point because uh, Frank Coleman is, is, is pro-life and what he has said is... My, my, as, as all politicians, apparently, if they're pro-life, have to do, he said, these are my own views, I feel strongly right. about them, but I'm not going to impose them. I don't think... I think he should be allowed to impose them. He's a premier, for goodness sake. People knew this before they voted for him in his party. But you're quite right. Obama, um, these are my personal views, are pro-choice, and I will impose them on all of you, whether you like it or not. That's it. Look at what he's doing with the, uh, the Obamacare. He shows up routinely to Planned Parenthood events, yeah. uh, speaks as their keynote speaker, and, and has no problem making grandiose statements of how much he supports abortion. Mm. And it, it applies all over the world, actually. It's, it's, it's the same paradigm is, is moved towards politicians, that if they favour abortion, they can impose their views. If they favour life, they're not allowed to. All we're asking for is a level playing field. That's here. it. There's an awful double standard, and clearly politicians who are pro-life are not allowed to right. speak their mind. Now, you're half Maltese, aren't you? I am. Thus the beauty. I'm actually a Maltese citizen as well. Really? Yes, I am. Well, now you can marry a woman. I, I, this is what Gay I'm marriage is now legal in Malta. Let me ask you this. Um, no church should ever be forced to marry a same-sex couple. I believe in individual conscience and liberty. But in that marriage has been so degraded over the years, why are you fighting this battle? I mean, if, if people of the same gender want to be married, What's it got to do with churches? Well, the, the interesting... OK, so 98% of the, the population is Catholic, and 80% of the population were against this bill, not sp even specifically about the civil unions, it's yeah. about the gay adoption. That was the huge issue. Okay. And uh, it caused such an outroar, uh, uh, controversy. In fact, this bill was only passed when a new president was yeah, yeah. elected just so that they could sign into law. So the problem is, it, because, you know, we've seen medic many medical journals state the consequences of children being adopted... With five to seconds to go, you're going to open that one, <laughs> and, and there's contrary opinion too. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you.